Welcome back to Steve's Small Engine Saloon. Well, I'm always trying to save you money here at Steve's Small Engine Saloon. Here's another great way that you can save some money because these brake pads are not cheap and they're not easy to replace. This doesn't just apply to this John Deere that obviously this is a John Deere deck. It applies to any riding lawnmower that has uh, blade brakes on it. Your blade brake is this little arm with a brake pad on it, kind of a fibrous pad on there that actually touches the pulley that spins your blades. When you have your blades engaged, obviously it pulls that brake away like that from the pulley so it can spin. When you release your tension on there, in other words, disengage your blades, the brake pad comes back like that and hits the side of that pulley and stops your blades from turning. It's a safety feature. What a lot of people don't realize is that they can burn, every time you do that, if your blades are spinning full speed, every time you disengage, that brake pad gets burnt a little bit because the, the pulley and the blade are spinning so fast. Always you need to remember to do, this is so simple, when your blades are running, before you disengage the blades, take your throttle lever and idle it right down to the bottom until you hear that engine slowing down, engine slowing down, the blades are slowing down, that pulley is slowing down to like uh, a third of the speed, something like that. Then you disengage and it in, that brake pad hits that pulley and it instantaneously stops that pulley and blade from turning. If you keep doing it over and over again at full speed, which most people do, it just keeps burning that pad every time. A buddy of mine, actually, I looked at his lawnmower a little while ago and he has one of those brake pads is actually torn right off. It's worn right through where there's no pad left on it. It's just the metal arm that's uh, hitting that pulley and it's not doing anything. It's not stopping that from turning. Say that happens where there actually is no brake pad fiber left on that arm. When you disengage your blades, that blade could still be turning. It can still be spinning in there and you can't hear it. That's the point. You can't hear it. You get off your rider, the engine shut off, that blade is still going in there. And then you go, oh, I need to look at something under my deck. You stick your fingers under there and that blade's hitting your fingers now. I'm not saying it's gonna cut your fingers right off or anything, but you will injure yourself. Those are there for a safety reason. They have to be kept good. And, uh, oh, by the way, if you do see that on your rider one day, I have a link underneath uh, in the description of this video where you can buy new ones. Click on that link if you want to check it out. They're not, actually not very expensive. They're just kind of not that fun to replace. So that's why I'm telling you this. Save your blade brakes by doing what I told you. Idle your engine right down before you disengage the blades. And I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Of course, I can't prove this, but I'm gonna say you are probably going to get 50% more life out of those brake pads if you do what I just told you. Well, I hope that helps somebody. I'm always trying to save you money. And uh, I think uh, that's it for me. <laughs> Cheers, Steve out.